good day. It's a beautiful, peaceful day, and yes, I'm here on the clock. And today we're talking about hearing God's voice. Many Christians, many believers desire to hear God's voice. And many wonder, um, can I hear God's voice? Is it God's will that I hear His voice? We hear so many preachers and so many ministers that do hear from God and they do know God's voice and they speak to us. But many times we, want, we wonder, can we hear God for ourselves? Should we desire to hear God's voice? Well, in the scripture, Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. Now you know that Jesus said that so it is God's will that you hear his voice. Now that you know that it's God's will that you hear His voice, you may say, well, how do I hear God's voice? How do I listen? How do I hear God's voice? And how do I recognize God's voice? But let's go back to the Bible. In Hebrews it said, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Now in that particular verse, we're going to deal with hearing. Hearing comes by the word of God. Now if hearing comes by the word of God, that's telling you that it is not natural whenever we say by the word of God whenever we're dealing with God's word we're not dealing with natural we're dealing with supernatural because God is a supernatural God whenever we're dealing with God's word we're not dealing with physical because God God's word is not physical because God is a spiritual God so now we realize that hearing God's voice is not physical it's not something that you do through physics it's not something that you do through your natural man many of us may say I read my Bible I pray and yet I struggle to hear God's voice I sit silent and I try so hard to hear God's voice well I must tell you you cannot hear God's voice through physical ability you cannot hear God's voice through works actually nothing comes spiritually through works remember we can never work hard enough there's nothing when it comes to God involves work it's always God's grace it's always God's gift now hearing comes by the Word of God just like it says in the book of Hebrews so if hearing comes by the Word of God it is God who gives us the ability to hear his voice because it is it is God who gives us his word remember Jesus is the word of God so we are do dealing with spiritual we are dealing with supernatural now do not think because we're dealing with spiritual and it's so and it's supernatural that is out of your reach God desires for you to hear him so what you need to do the first thing you need to do is realize that God desires that you hear his voice so if God desires it he wants to give it to you Jesus said he that hath an ear to hear, let him hear. Now Jesus knew that everybody around him heard him. So what was Jesus talking about? Jesus wasn't just saying, hear me physically. Jesus knew that to hear him and truly understand what he was saying, you needed God to give you an ear to hear. So now you can ask God the Almighty, God, my Father, give me an ear to hear you, that I will hear your voice through your word that I will hear when you speak to me now not just because you hear God means that you may recognize this voice and with Samuel the prophet when Samuel was just a child he heard God very clearly he heard God's voice three times but the Bible said that he did not recognize the voice of God sometimes we may hear God but we do not recognize that it is God well sometimes it takes time it takes us listening. It takes us spending time with God. It takes us being in the presence of God, spending time with Him, seeking Him, that we learn to recognize the voice of God. Once we learn to recognize the voice of God, it becomes easier because now do we not just hear Him, we recognize His voice. So I encourage you as a child of God, spend time praying, spend time with God, get aside and be with God. Now the voice of God, the Bible says in 1 Kings that it came as a still, small voice. Sometimes we do not hear God's voice even though we can recognize it because our lives are just too busy. Our lives are just too noisy. There is so much distraction. We are busy running here, going to work, living our lives, raising our families, out with friends. We sometimes do not take the time to go in a quiet place and be with God. 
Remember, you need a quiet place because the voice of God is very still. Now, you may ask the question, how does God speak to us? God speaks spirit to spirit to us. It is our spirit that hear God. He speaks to us simply to our spirits and it comes through as our thoughts. Sometimes we may say, I think God is speaking to me. You know, it came to me to pray. I must get up and pray. Well, if you hear in your thoughts and you're laying down and it comes in your thought to get up and pray, most likely God is speaking to you. It's not our human will that say to us, get up and pray. God, and we know it's certainly not the devil telling you to pray. So I will encourage you, if it comes in your thought to get up and pray, listen, perhaps that is God's voice. You will learn to recognize the, the voice of God when he pushes you to pray, when he pushes you to read his word. We know that these things are spiritual and the physical man does not desire the things of God. It is God's spirit that leads us toward the things of God. So just to make it simple, ask God to speak to you. God is speaking all the time. Ask God not just to speak to you because he does speak to his children, but ask God to give you an ear to hear him. And then ask God through the power of his Holy Spirit to help you to recognize his voice. And then it's another thing about hearing God, recognize his voice, then you must walk in obedience. Because it's one thing to hear God's voice, recognize his voice, but it's very important to obey his voice. Because sometimes when we walk in disobedience, God may stop speaking. We see this with King Saul. King Saul walked in so much disobedience. When prophet Samuel spoke to him, he insisted that he was obeying God. He didn't want to hear what God was saying. And it said that when he spoke to God, God did not answer him back. You don't ever want to come to the position or the place with God where God refuses to speak with you because you are walking in disobedience. Remember when David walked in disobedience? God didn't speak directly to David. He sent the prophet Nathan to let David know you need to repent because David was walking in disobedience. So when you hear the voice of God and you recognize the voice of God, it is so important to obey God. Do the will of the Father. Walk in obedience. Keep it simple. Understand no natural ability, no physical ability. We of ourselves do not hear or recognize God's, God's voice. It is God that gives us the supernatural ability to hear Him. He gives us the air to hear and He imparts it to all of His children. When we spend time with Him, we develop the ability to recognize His voice. After we know to recognize His voice, let's walk in obedience to God. People of God, obey what God is saying to you. Obey his word, obey what he tells you to do, and continue in fellowship with God the Father.